What's good, YouTube? Everybody, it's your boy Ori back with another reaction video. We're gonna be reacting to the real Grim Repo. Real Grim Repo. So, this is the saying everybody around Little Jerk dies. I can think of five people off the top of my head who died around um, Little Dirk. Let me see if I can remember. Nooski, Vaughn. Um, his cousin, uh, Josh, Josh, turn me up, turn me up, Josh. Um, when Nash rapper from Chicago, bro, I think this is one of his homies, bro. Oh, anyway, I can't think of the top of my head right now. The fifth, fifth, fourth, the fifth one that's four people off the top of my head, you know, and all those people I just listed, they die within. Last three years, yeah. But anyway, we're gonna be reacting to a little documentary, documentary, the real, the real Dirk Yo the Repo. Lil Dirk is one of the OG Chicago drill rappers and has maintained his relevance longer than almost anyone else from that area. But being at the top comes with its dark side, and all the beef that has helped Dirk sell albums and increase his popularity has also led to the death of many people who are close to him. News broke out last week that his older brother D Thang was killed in front of a nightclub in Harvey, Illinois, a city just outside of Chicago. The brother of local rapper Lil Durk is dead after shooting at a club in Harvey this weekend. Although D Thang's killers are still on the loose and there's no proof that his murder had anything to do with Dirk, fans automatically assume that D Thang was another casualty in the ongoing war in Chirac. D Thang is far from the person Dirk has lost since blowing up. In the past decade, he's had to mourn the deaths of his cousin Nooski, his manager Chino. That's it! Chino! That's it. I think I did I say that? I was confused. I was thinking if it was Nooski was his it's his his manager. So it's Nooski, Chino, uh 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 Vaughn, uh uh God, I just had it bro. Josh turn me turn me up, Josh. Uh what's the fifth one I said? Nooski, Chino, turn me up, Josh. Vaughn, and it's somebody else in his camp, bro. Count them all. Vaughn, his producer turned me up, Josh, and now his older brother. Wild rumors on the internet have accused Dirk of being cursed or even sacrificing his own friends and family members to secure wealth and power for himself. But the truth is likely much simpler. When you build a career off of being a savage and dissing your opposite any chance you get, eventually they're gonna want payback. When they can't get to you, they're gonna go after whoever's closest to you. And it seems like D Thing was just the latest victim in the endless cycle of violence that haunts Chicago and every other hood in America. Let's take a closer look at Lil Durk's career and all the unfortunate losses he's encountered during his rise to fame. Dirk grew up surrounded by violence and gangs in the south side of Chicago. His father, Dante Banks, was arrested and sentenced to life in prison when the rapper was just seven months old for being part of a major drug distribution ring. Growing up, the artist had to take on many adult responsibilities to help his family. He started making music and building a fan base on MySpace and YouTube while he was still in high school. But after getting his girlfriend pregnant at just 17 years old, he was forced to drop out. After that, he joined the Black Disciples and supported his family through street activities. He continued to make music and build a fan base, but started getting into trouble with the law yeah, and was arrested like several times for gun charges while he was on the come up. If you've been following our coverage of the Chicago drill scene, you know that the BDs are currently at war with the Gangsta Disciples, as well as several other sets in the area. The rise of drill only added fuel to the fire in these violent beats, and throughout his career, Dirk has lost people close to him just because of tensions in the city. On May 31st, 2014, Dirk's cousin OTF Nunu, or Nooski, was shot and killed while sitting in the car. Nooski was also a rapper who was signed to Dirk's OTF record label. He just started blowing up in the city with the track OC, which also featured Dirk. But before he could really enjoy the success, he was gunned down while sitting in one of Dirk's SUVs outside a shopping complex. Nooski's death was rumored to be retaliation for the killing of another rapper named Lil Mark. Lil Mark was a rapper who was associated with the 051 Money Gang, a set of the Mickey Cobras and Black Peace Stones, who were known to be with the BDs. In March 2014, Lil Mark dropped a track called No Competition, which was a remix of Dirk's song Competition, and contained disses of many well-known BDs in Chicago. Three days after dropping the track, Lil Mark was shot and killed while standing outside a bus stop. After Mark was killed, many of the BDs who he dissed on the song would go on social media and mock his death, something that has become a common theme in drill music. Dirk was one of them, and he recorded a video of himself at the bus stop where Lil Mark was killed, laughing and saying that the bus stop was a real famous place. Hey, this is this hey, 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 this bus stop right here though, this is this, this real famous place, yeah. This is a real famous place. 
Not long after, OTF Nunu was killed, and many say it was payback for Lil Mark's death and all the disrespect that followed. Less than a year later, after Nooski was killed, Dirk's close friend and manager, OTF Chino, was killed in a similar situation where he was sitting in a car in the Avalon Park neighborhood of Chicago. It's not exactly clear why Chino got killed, but the word on the street is that the same person who shot Nooski was also responsible for Chino's death. Both his were credited to an 051 Money Gang member named 051 Melly. Melly was a true savage and one of the most feared shooters in Chirac history. A few days before Chino was killed, Nerd could drop the remix of Chief Keeps Finito, where he did 051 rapping. I'm riding through the ops, finna go and shoot Young Money up. 051 Melly clearly wasn't feeling the disc and posted a video to social media calling Dirk a fake gangster. Not long after that, Chino was killed. 051 Melly would eventually be killed at a house party in 2019 over an unrelated beef, while Dirk would continue to build momentum in the music industry. So the violence started to die down for a while, at least when it came to people close to Dirk. But that would all change after the rapper entered the second phase of his career and teamed up with a childhood friend and fellow BD, King Von. The Chicago drill scene started to die down in the late 2010s as all the hot rappers would end up dead, in jail, or just move away from the streets. Other drill scenes in cities like London and New York started to attract fans of the genre as well. Although Dirk was still relevant and successful in the industry, he has even admitted they started to fall off in the mid-2010s. He had embraced more of an auto-tune R&B sound with tracks like My Beyonce, featuring Dej Lowe, and he abandoned the drill sound that made him popular. That little sexy dude. Where my baby is? Dej Lowe, where are you? We gotta send a, a what's it, BBP, ABP, ABP for Dej Lowe, my baby girl. Where you is, baby? Where you been? Why you hiding from your boo? Why you hiding from me? You need to come back to that. In the first place. So many of his OG fans started to stop listening to him, focus their attention on new rappers. But rather than give up, Dirk got back to his roots and started releasing mixtapes that returned to a harder, street-oriented sound. He left Def Jam in 2018 and started to focus on building his own brand, OTF. Around that time, King Von, Dirk's childhood friend, and another street legend from Chicago was released from prison after beating the murder charge. He eventually signed Dirk's label and released the single Crazy Story in December 2018, which immediately went viral. Crazy Von was a pretty wild dude and well-known in Chicago for being a respected shooter. Taking Von under his wing earned Dirk tons of attention from rap fans across the country, but it also tied him back into the street drama that offended the lives of his cousin and manager. At the same time that Von was starting to take off, another rapper from Chicago named FBG Duck was also making some noise in the industry. FBG Duck was affiliated with the GDs and was one of O-Blocks and OTF's biggest rivals. Dirk and Duck had been dissing each other for years, so with Von back on the streets and Duck starting to build a name for himself in the industry, the beef only got worse. In July 2020, FBG Duck- Hey. <laughs> I wonder what it'd be inside the cameraman. Look at this. Duck starting to build a name for himself in the industry, the beef only got. Imagine you had a cameraman for this video shoot. <laughs> you got one, two, three, four, five. And it looks like six. Yeah, I don't know if you want to count his finger. You can call that seven. Seven, six guns pointing at me. Man, y'all better take your finger off of that trigger, bro. This one, all right, this one, his finger ain't on the trigger. This one, his finger ain't on the trigger. I can't see him too good. I don't think it's on the trigger. I can't see this one. His one. Uh, uh, I don't think it's on the, okay, it ain't on the trigger, just to be safe. But still, man, you never know. Bobby I mean, sweating there in the music video. What? Got worse. In July 2020, FPG Double released a track called Dead where he disrespects multiple dead members of O-Block and other BDs. Less than a month later, Duck was shot and killed while out shopping in the upscale Gold Coast neighborhood. But in Chicago, the beef doesn't stop when you're dead, and Dirk would only continue to diss Duck every chance he could get. He even went as far as naming a song after the dead rapper on his album The Voice called Should Have Duck. But it wouldn't be long before Dirk would be grieving another member of his team, and in November 2020, King Von was shot and killed outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta. King Von was killed during a shootout between two groups outside a hookah lounge in downtown Atlanta Friday morning. Von's death had nothing to do with Dirk or any old street beef in Chicago. He was killed after getting into a fist fight with rapper Quando Rondo. According to rumors, Von had gotten into it with NBA Youngboy after he allegedly slept with Youngboy's baby mama, Jania. Rondo signed the NBA Youngboy's label and known to take responsibility and action for his beefs. So when Rondo and King Von saw each other that night, things got out of hand and Von ended up dead. King Von was a well-respected and loved figure in the streets of Chicago and his death was a huge loss, not just for Dirk, but the entire city and rap community. Crazy rumors started going around that Dirk sacrificed Vaughn because he was scared that his friend might outshine him in the music industry and take his spot. But the reality is that Vaughn was really about that life, and when you're still moving a certain way, no amount of money or fame can protect you from the consequences. Dirk has continued to honor Vaughn's legacy and featured him on the cover of his 2020 album, The Voice, with the caption, Long Live Grandson, Vaughn's nickname on the streets. 
Even though Quando Rondo wasn't the one who actually fired the shot that killed Vaughn, the BDs have let it be known that they're holding the rapper responsible. Dirk even went as far as purchasing every table at a club that Rondo was set to perform at in Atlanta, and the show had to be canceled. But Dirk didn't let the loss of his friend stop his hustle, and in 2021 alone, Boy. he's already dropped a deluxe edition of The Voice, as well as a collaborative project with Lil Baby called The Voice of the Heroes. So far, the new project is a hit, but it seems like Lil Durk is back to his old ways, dissing ops both dead and alive. On the track Still Running, featuring Meek Mill, fans believe that Dirk is not only Youngboy and Quando Rondo, but also FBG Duck. A lead clip of the song that surfaced online before the project dropped, which made the internet go crazy. Dirk responded to the alleged diss, saying, I never said a lame name, stop lying on me. But it's pretty clear he's trying to get at someone on the track, even if he didn't call anyone out by name. Just two days after the project was released, Dirk's brother D-Thing was shot and killed outside of Club O in Harvey, Illinois, a city about 30 minutes from the south side of Chicago. According to witnesses, D-Thing had been at the club all night and was leaving around 1 a.m. He got into a verbal fight with a group of men outside the club, which resulted in him getting shot in the head. D-Thing passed away almost immediately at just 32 years old. A week before D-Thing was killed, Dirk's go-to producer, Turn Me Up Josh, also passed away. The details of his death are not clear, but Dirk himself confirmed the news on Twitter saying, R.I.P. Turn Me Up Josh, SMH. So the rapper had lost another two people close to him in just a span of a week. D-Thing was Dirk's older brother and had always been an influential person in the rapper's life with his father locked up for his whole childhood. D-Thing supposedly convinced Dirk to invest more of his money into other businesses outside of rap and help him purchase a trucking company. That way, Dirk could eventually get out of the spotlight and avoid all the drama that comes with being a famous drill rapper. But unfortunately, that day didn't come quickly enough, and it seems like D-Thing fell victim to the same cycle that claimed the lives of Chino and Nooski. The police have not arrested anyone or announced any information yet regarding D-Thing's death. It was possible the shooting had nothing to do with dirt, but it doesn't seem like D-Thing was robbed, so it's hard to think of what kind of motive the killers would have other than retaliation, especially because the shooting happened just outside of Chicago. What separates drill from other subgenres of hip hop is the blatant disrespect of ops, especially the dead. It's also what seems to be fueling the violence behind it. At this point, Dirk has enough money and connections to move smart and avoid any situations that may put him in danger. But not everyone around him has that kind of money or the mindset to be on guard 24 7. As long as he keeps up with the distance, everyone around him is a target. The ops aren't just gonna let up just because they can't get to Dirk, so they're just gonna hit up whoever they can get that matters to him. Yeah. And even though Dirk is at the top of his career, he still doesn't have the time or resources to make sure that his people are protected at all times. That's unfortunately what comes with being a hot drill rapper. A big part of what gets sales and plays is street image and backing that up with distance. Dirk is a businessman, and he probably noticed that when he was doing pop and R&B tracks, the sales weren't great. But when he started hopping back on drill beats and talking about his ops, his career was suddenly going somewhere. The only problem with this is the fact that your fans only want more and more. But the longer you keep it up, the more you put yourself and the people around you at risk. Hopefully, Dirk can take some time to reflect on his brother's death and go in a new direction with his music. At this point, he's a multi-millionaire and doesn't need to keep beefing with dudes in the street who have nothing to lose. But then again, the more blood that's spilled, the harder it is to escape the cycle, and it may be too late for Dirk to change his ways now. If you thought this video was crazy, be sure to check out our channel for more. From Rap's Biggest Police Raids... Damn. That's crazy, bro. I, 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 I could just imagine... No, I can't imagine that. Like, I, I can imagine losing one family member, but the family member, I... Okay, yeah. The one family I lost to the, like, to that street shit. You know, it's just one family member. You know, but it's like everybody who you ever care about dies, bro. Cam, I don't even want to think about that, bro. Uh, I don't even think about it. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. It's very... I would say educational, but very informative, you know. But yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that button, subscribe, comment down below. We're going to reach 100,000 subscribers. I know it sounds like a lot of numbers, but I still want it. With that being said, you guys are awesome, baby. Happy to be blessed. Remember, the world is yours. Peace. I'm out.